Hello, this is an introduction to Galaxy. Today we will talk about what is Galaxy and we'll have a walkthrough um, through the interface. What Galaxy is not? Galaxy is not Excel. It does not allow you to uh, look at the data in the way that you see in this Excel table and edit it. Uh, it is also not a programming language. It does not replace Unix or Linux, nor does it, does it replace them. Um, on the right, you see Microsoft attempts to develop a tool that allows you to manipulate DNA data. As you can see, it's very threatening and unuser friendly. And this is not what Galaxy is about. Galaxy is actually a shell. It's an interface. It allows you to connect to uh, data uh, repositories such as UCSC tables and download data to your Galaxy environment. It allows you to connect with third-party tools such as Bowtie and Anovar and access them because there is an interface already built in Galaxy. You can build interface to other tools. It has some built-in tools that you can allows you to do statistics and graphics. Um, and it, you can um, access Linux commands without actually typing them, without using the command prompt. Um, uh, it's free, it's open, it is a web-based platform um, for biomedical research. Um, all the data is being downloaded to your Galaxy environment, never to your computer, but you can download it to your computer. Uh, the interface is very simple, and most importantly, you can generate pipelines. So a command that calls another command that calls another command, and you can reproduce those, you can share those, and you can print those and include them in your publication or your lab report. It is developed by Johns Hopkins and Penn State and a very large community of users. Uh, Galaxy makes our life easier because it teaches us about the command without actually having to type them. It has very simple way and fast ways to access and process text file. It will teach you how to build pipelines, which is something you'll need to know um, because it is needed by large projects such as 100,000 genomes. It allows you to handle large databases very quickly. It can be customized. You can add tools to Galaxy. There is a very large number of videos and documentations, and it's pretty much simple to learn. Uh, these are some resources about Galaxy. We will access Galaxy 3 through this uh, link right here. Uh, this is the main window of Galaxy. There are four main components. There is the menu bar on the top. This is your history. It's a log of everything you do. All the commands that you type uh, make Galaxy do are here. This is the main window. It would show you several things, but right now it shows you the outcome of the commands in here. This is not the prompt window. You cannot type things here. Uh, this part is the most important part. It has all the tools and commands. Um, and you, if you click on each one, there will be a window opened with, with many more commands that you can type. Uh, let's look at the menu bar. So the first one you already saw, this is the main working environment. The second one allows you to create edit, share workflows. So you can see this workflow starts with an input file. It's a bed file. And then it's being processed through two filters. OK, then the outcome is becoming the input of uh, a third party tool. And from here, we're choosing this option to go into a final file. OK, so if you want to run this pipeline again for a new bed file, all you have to do is just click on start and it would run for you. Here you can access um, other published data uh, and workflows of other users. Um, you can visualize your genomic data. Here you access help. And finally here you can log in and out of Galaxy. You can work in Galaxy without uh, logging in, but it's strongly recommended that you will because, again, it allows you to record and save your history. Um, this is your history. Um, it is recommended that you give it um, an informative name because uh, the idea is that you can go back to your history um, at any time and um, run on the commands again without actually typing them again. Galaxy gives names to everything that you do here. Um, it filtered data produced in number 74. This is number 74. It's a map with BWA. Okay, so it's a command that follows command that follows command. Every step is a, another processing of the data. And you can change those names if you don't find them informative, uh, just to allow you to remember what you did. 
this is the tools menu here you can get data from UCSC tables or fly database or yeast um, this is uh, the text manipulation menu you can um, convert the data to tabs you can extract columns cut columns merge two tables together and do all sort of uh, things that you should have otherwise done with Linux command here Galaxy allow you to do it very quickly um, not all galaxies are the same since everybody anybody can install Galaxy on their own server and install their own tools um, different Galaxy instances would have different tool sets but they would all have the same tools that we just saw the same one that exists on the main version of Galaxy okay so why won't you give it a try try to count the number of human snips with missions and loss and stop loss on uh, chromosome 21 um, this is and try to put together some kind of workflow this is a very quick solution try also to do all the things in here the next slide would show the would show the solution uh, so don't turn to the next slide uh, before you give it a try um, this is the solution uh, Two solutions in fact and they're not really good so you can do it a lot faster and much better so give it a try thank you so much